Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode in my WW Barbecue Grilling Out series. Tonight we are making delicious Greek turkey burgers with homemade tzatziki sauce. We're also going to roast up some butternut squash on the grill and we are going to grill some pineapple. A lot of you have been asking about grilling fruit, so I'm gonna show you some tricks of the trade as far as it goes for grilling fruit. So if you wanna see what I have in store for you for this edition of the barbecue series on WW, all you have to do is stay tuned. So here is the plan for tonight's dinner. Here is the ingredients for our Greek burgers, the ingredients for our tzatziki, and then our side dishes. So let me show you everything that first is in our hamburgers. So you're going to need some breadcrumbs. It does call for plain. I have Italian on hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and use those. You'll need some salt and some pepper, some ground turkey. I'm gonna go ahead and do 93.7 fat-free feta or low-fat feta cheese, eggs, green onions, and the bun of your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Smart Bun. These are the one Smart Point buns. They are from Smart Baking Company, the same place that does the Smart Cakes. They're really good. They are a little bit on the dry side. I do prefer to have them grilled, but once you add all of your sauce and condiments to it, you can't beat it, and it's only one Smart Point. This is the bun, so it is actually a full-size hamburger bun, so you can see that in comparison to my hand. So definitely, for one Smart Point, you cannot go wrong. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our burgers ready. So I've went ahead and added my one pound of my ground turkey into my bowl. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add one egg. You can also use two egg whites if you don't have full eggs on hand. And then we are also going to add one quarter of a cup of our breadcrumbs and five ounces of feta cheese. So this is exactly five ounces. And then you're going to chop up four green onions and go ahead and add that. And then last but certainly not least, we're going to add in some salt and some pepper. And then we're gonna give this a stir just to get all of our ingredients nice and combined together before we form them into burger patties. So it's really easy. The longest part is chopping up those green onions with which literally took about two minutes. So go ahead and get this nice and mixed together and then we'll form our hamburger mixture into our burger patties. Once you get everything combined together, look at how delicious that looks. We are going to go ahead and make this into four patties. We want them to be pretty equal size. The original recipe uses two pounds of ground turkey. I decided to just go ahead and do one since there's only two of us in our household. This is actually going to make extra as it is. But you're going to go ahead and form that in to your hamburger patty. And then I just usually set those aside on a plate. So go ahead and create your four patties and then we will move on to getting our butternut squash and our pineapple ready to go on the grill. We can make our sauce while everything is grilling. Next, we wanna get our squash ready to go. So I have a sheet of foil here. Here is my frozen butternut squash. I'm just going to add it to one side of my foil. And we kinda of wanna get this spread out into a single layer. You can also steam this butternut squash in the microwave, but I really like it in a foil pack on the grill. That's one of my favorite things to do in the summer is cook my veggies in a foil pack. To our butternut squash, we're just gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of salt to enhance the flavor. And then we're also going to add some of the Dax green zest. This is one of my favorite seasonings to put on veggies. No salt added, has excellent flavor, great for potatoes and vegetables. You can buy Dax for 10% off and free shipping. There is a link down in the description box below. And then we're gonna go ahead and fold our foil over and just create a pocket for our squash. And then that's ready to go on the grill. And last but not least, we just have to get our pineapple ready to go. So with these packets, you can easily just flip them around on the grill. Lastly, we need to get our pineapple ready to go onto the grill. So what I will normally do is I will slice off both ends of my pineapple 
and then I will typically go ahead and cut it in half and I'm going to make it into spears to go on to my grill. So I'm going to go ahead and chop off all of the rind of my watermelon or wow watermelon of my pineapple <laughs> and I'm going to get this ready to go on the grill. So again I'm just going to go ahead and cut it into spears but this is just the easiest way we're not going to add any seasoning or anything to our pineapple we're just basically going to chop it into spears and then go ahead and get it on the grill so i want my spears to be roughly about this size so this is a perfect size and thickness for the grill it'll cook up really nice so i'm going to go ahead and just put those on a plate and then those will be ready to go on the grill with our burgers and with our veggies next we're going to make our sauce while everything is going on to the grill so what i have here is one cup of non-fat greek yogurt you are going to add everything for your sauce either to a blender or to a food processor, whatever you have on hand. You could probably even use an immersion blender. So go ahead and add in your yogurt. I also chopped up my entire English cucumber. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that. And I don't think that I'm going to need to add any dill pickle juice. I don't want that added salt. And so I'm just going to skip the dill. But again, I would highly recommend it uh, if you are gonna recreate this recipe. So I'll be adding dill to my spices for my grocery list. I also went ahead and rehydrated just a little bit of my dried garlic. We're going to go ahead and add that in. So you can either use it dry or just add it to a tiny bit of water and rehydrate it. And then we're going to add in some lemon juice. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and add in some salt. And then we'll get ready to put this onto the blender. And All right, so we're blending, guys. Look at that, it is making our delicious sauce. So we're just gonna get this blended up until our cucumbers are fully blended in. And there's our tzatziki sauce all ready to go for our burger. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the fridge while our burgers are cooking. All right, everything is grilling up nicely. This time we were smart and sprayed the barbecue so our burgers did not stick. There's our squash. He says he was smart. There's our squash. And there's our grilled pineapple. This is looking so good. Now, when you guys are grilling fruit, you wanna really, really grill it until it is golden. So we're gonna leave that pineapple on for a while, but our burgers and squash are coming along nicely. So here is our barbecue dinner. So here we have our Greek turkey burgers with our tzatziki sauce. This grilled pineapple looks so good. So we have that. And then we also have our butternut squash. So let me plate up my dinner and I will show you the completed dinner and give you the smart points. So here is the completed dinner. This looks delicious. So there is my Greek turkey burger with the tzatziki sauce. The sauce is actually zero points. So all you have to account for is the turkey burger and the bun. I also have a serving of my roasted butternut squash for zero and my pineapple for zero. So this is my dinner. The smart points are here on the screen and this looks delicious and definitely a must try barbecue recipe. Thank you for joining me on another episode in the WW Barbecue Series. I hope you enjoyed seeing this delicious dinner, those burgers, the butternut squash, the pineapple, when you grill pineapple, it makes it even sweeter. So absolutely, positively delicious. I will have the recipe linked down below for the Greek burgers and the tzatziki sauce. And of course, the butternut squash and pineapple. Go ahead and follow the directions here in the video. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. You don't wanna miss out on any videos. Also, if you hit that notification bell, you will be notified every time that I upload. Again, you don't wanna miss out on any videos. Give this one a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know, are you gonna try this recipe or these recipes? And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys.